Welcome to season 6 The Starry Achievers This podcast season as we all are aware is dedicated to all the achievers and the talented people with their new ventures under the umbrella named startup Today we have a wonderful guest from Mumbai India Mrs Zulekha Badar Welcome to the show ma'am Uh thank you so much for having me It's a pleasure and honor. Thanks for a lot for your time. So, uh if you could just share with our listeners a little more about yourself. Uh definitely. So, my name is Zuleika Badar. Uh I am based out of Mumbai. I am a professional pastry chef. I started my career by becoming a fashion designer and I have worked with big brands, big designers. but later on i realized that you know that's not what i wanted to do so after i got married and after i got kids i started baking for them so that's the time i realized that yes baking is something which i love and i enjoy doing it so that's how you know everything changed for me and i started you know uh, doing things that i like and got into this baking industry so that's how it happened so the inspiration are your kids actually definitely definitely we we all start by you know um, you know because kids are very fussy you know that hmm. and you know to please them you have to do a lot of experiments and you know try different things so that they eat and enjoy and avoid outside food so that was my uh, you know passion that you know i give my kids the best and home cooked food even cakes so that's how i tried and you know started experimenting with different kind of uh, you know brownies and cakes you know whatever they used to like i heard that uh, the brownies that you had baked had gone viral like in your social circle yes and this was really very surprising because i started uh, baking with brownies and definitely kids used to love them but it was appreciated by my friends and my family also so that's how you know the you know, for parties for kids parties for dinners i started making a lot of brownies and everybody started loving them and they wanted more i so, you know then like my yes. mouth is watering just by listening to this itself <laughs> no yeah, then you should try my brownies some day absolutely my next order is for you <laughs> okay sure okay tell me one thing like when you were young had you ever imagined yourself to be an entrepreneur a uh, seriously never because you know as kids uh you know we are always confused we have so many options so i was always confused like what i actually wanted to do so you know my father wanted me to become a doctor but i was like never inclined towards that so he was okay ki you know wanted to do fashion designing okay go ahead because fashion industry when we started off was at boom and everybody wanted to be look stylish and you know look pretty so i took a proper training from an institute sndt and i started my career with uh, fashion designing i have worked with uh, sheetal design studio under hemant trivedi also but you know like you said you know i have never planned things it just started happening you know so today what i am that was never never planned and i'm happy about it that i had never planned because uh, this is something you know accidentally baker i call myself mhm so it it all happened uh, very you know uh, unplanned and i'm very happy about it so after listening to you i like you know can say that sometimes people should go with the flow and believe in themselves completely completely you should just let your imagination fly and just you know experiment and do things you just want to do uh it's like your honesty and dedication is reflective in your own work uh definitely i am i am very honest to my work because i love my work you know so i i give my best you know because as i am also a teacher Okay. so i have i have to be true to my work because i need to explain those same things to my students so they also perfect you know what they are learning from me 
so unless and until i am uh, true to my work and loyal to my work it is not going to happen i cannot teach you know what i know the skills i have right so your creativity is now being extended to your students and i'm very happy about it that's wonderful what would you like to say to the young kids nowadays with so many of options on the table like you know uh in fact uh, to the young crowd today because since uh, comparatively what options we had were very limited you know and now they have been exposed to so many options and especially when everything is online nowadays right so for the kids this is what i tell my kids also that you know try everything in life just don't be restricted to one thing because you never know where your interest lies keep experimenting make mistakes and that's how you learn from your mistakes and finally you know that this is what you want in life and then you just don't stop you just you know go ahead and fulfill your dreams absolutely because um, at times failures are the stepping stones to the success path failures are the only stepping stones i feel because unless and until you fail you don't learn and you don't know that what achievement is all about then very true so your message to the kids is like um, to keep on exploring and uh, experimenting with anything and everything that is on the in the way completely completely never be never get scared of failures you know i always feel that if you're scared of failures you will never you know have that courage to try and experiment something new you should accept failures and then fight it and then go ahead in life how about the low moments that you must have faced i'm sure like because everyone when they are working for their own hobbies and passions there are certain expectations so if at all like uh, did you ever experience any low moments if so how did you cope uh, we are all humans and I'm, we all have our lows and highs but god has been really very kind to me so at times you know because we work with a, i especially do you know eggless baking so for me uh, eggless baking was a very big challenge so at times it is not possible for us to create you know things that are you know perfect perfect you know eggless so mm-hmm. i used to actually have uh, you know depressing moments when i used to have a lot of failures but you know i have never uh, you know been low and i've always fought back and so I, has my family supported me you know they've always supported me in whatever i have done i have failed they have supported me i have one they have supported me so you know when you have support so these low moments actually never count that much so i'm happy that you know i have both the kind of uh, experience in life that's wonderful as you had rightly said yes there are low moments and high moments both and family support counts a lot or for that matter any support it could be a friend support a colleague support any support which is there and we know that they are there for completely I, completely it is it is you know when you uh, you know get into something at an age especially when you are married and you have kids you know it it is a little difficult to handle everything together and this is uh, i the problem i faced during my uh, struggling days but like you said definitely family is always there but i had beautiful friends who not only you know encouraged me but supported me to become what i am today you know always pushed me ahead you know always encouraged me that's how you know you need you need good friends to be where you are very true it's very interesting to know that uh, the niche that you have created for yourself that is in eggless baking it's not very common 
and it is unique in its own nature. I'm sure it must have taken a lot of experimentation part from your end to create what is actually in demand by the people. Yes, this is something I faced when I started off my career because I am okay with eggs. But uh, what I had seen was, you know, there are a lot of people for uh, religious re reasons or uh, for any kind of allergic reasons, you know, they cannot consume eggs. So, uh, as a pastry chef, I took it up as a challenge. That, okay, egg baking is something, okay, everybody does it. You know, why not get into eggless baking and take it up as a challenge? and make things which people say that is not possible, you know, and I've tried to make them possible and I'm really proud of it because today there are so many things that I make that people thought that can never be done. And this is what I also teach my students. Would love to know what, uh, if you could just share one or two names that is okay, your so mentality. Okay, so I have uh, made uh, egg-free macaron. Okay. Uh, we've made egg-free eclairs, which is something uh, till date people can't register that is it eggless? You know, this is the question that I always uh, face. You know, are you sure this is eggless? Because we've never heard about it. So these are the few things I can say that, you know, I have mastered and I have made them completely egg-free. That's interesting. And I'll be waiting for my box of eggless macarons. Yes, very soon. Very <laughs> soon. <laughs> Moving ahead, uh, can you share with us any anecdote or any memorable moment, like, you know, in your journey? Uh, I have had some few memorable moments. First is uh, when I won the ICA award. Because it was a completely, completely, uh, you know, a different experience. In 2019, we had this award, uh, Indian Cake Awards. And there were a lot of nominations from all over India. And uh, I can say I was the lucky one who was selected in them. And I was the only one who was a home-based baker. Rest, I had, you know, all these professional pastry chefs from big industries. So for me, it was, you know, a moment, uh, you know, to experience that, you know, how uh, interesting this line is and how ex uh, interesting this awful experience was, working with professionals, fighting with them for the competition, and then winning the competition. So I still, everything is so fresh and real to me still, and I can't forget those memories. Firstly, congratulations for receiving the award and uh, you have raised the bar for all the competitors in the future. Yeah, thank you so much. Uh, I, I hope I have. Of course you have because again, being in the competition wherein you have such renowned people and experienced people, that is not easy. Yes, I am so happy about it. For me, my aim, you can say, is, you know, uh, to bring out talent from, from women especially who are at home, you know, taking care of their family, taking care of their children and being independent at the same time. And having that, you know, earning that self-respect, which, uh, you know, for housewives, people uh, not really, you know, they don't consider uh, them really. So I want them to, you know, be independent, work, follow their dreams and gain that self-respect and, you know, try to be independent and not dependent on anybody. Very well framed. Yes, you are an inspiration to many homemakers and they will start realizing their own potential. And I'm sure we will find many more chefs in and around Mumbai itself. Yes. Uh, uh, in fact, during this pandemic times, I have seen that, you know, uh, known people and neighbors and everybody, you know, have uh, 
uh, started baking, they also have got time to find their interest. And I'm really happy about it that they, most of them have started this journey of baking and becoming independent. See, the magic is already happening then. So happy, so happy about it. Listening to you makes me really happy. And because you are spreading so much of positivity and the positive vibes among individuals who would otherwise have been lost. Little, you know, uh, faith, little support, you know, they need. And, uh, you know, people don't know that, you know, where what they can achieve in life. Absolutely. It's just a little support. Very true. And any funny moment, if you could share? Uh, funny, uh, funny, uh, I can say not really funny, but it was, uh, you know, uh, it became funny later on. Recently, this thing happened with me. I had an order and uh, the cake was supposed to be delivered to a particular place okay. in, say, Ghat Kopar. Okay. And, you know, since uh, the builders have similar names, brands all over Bombay. Correct. Uh, uh, my bad, I I think I punched the wrong address. So the thing that was supposed to, the cake that was supposed to reach Ghatkopar, reached, unfortunately, to Meera Road. Don't tell me. Okay. <laughs> Don't ask. Oh, and I, <laughs> and I get a call from the client asking me that the driver's calling me and saying, I've reached Meera Road. And that moment for me was like, Oh my God, what did I do? I actually checked my app again and I couldn't find a mistake. But somehow I, you know, tracked the driver and relocated the address. And, you know, the cake which was supposed to reach her at 7 reached at 9. You know, these clients are so supportive and so sweet. She, uh, you know, didn't say anything. But it was a learning experience for me that next time before punching, I should see the address that, you know, which place is going to. So today I laugh it out, but it has been, you know, till that cake reached her, I was like going crazy, you know, doing the follow-ups. Must have been really a tensed moment because it's like for an occasion and reaching the cake like after the occasion would have been a spoiler completely i was actually worried about that because these cakes are very delicate cakes you know right so for a cake to travel it, it left my place at five and it reached her nine so so many hours i was just worried that it reaches her in one piece correct because it's it's your reputation on stake you know you have to deliver the best Absolutely. So, but like I said, you know, God has always been kind to me and uh, God saved me again. <laughs> so I was very happy about it. So your work is appreciated and everyone understand this was not in your hand. And thankfully it was an AC car. So it was saved also. Yes, yes, yes. Because there are moments, you know, which are not in your hand, you know, because Bombay traffic also, you know, that it's no. crazy. At times, you know, you plan something and it doesn't reach on time. Mm -hmm. So it, it happens a lot of time, but not only me, but I'm sure all the bakers, you know, uh, they go through these kind of weird experiences. True. It's very, um, like, relatable also, since I am also mm -hmm. in Mumbai. And I can imagine the traffic being one, like, it's always betrays at, just at the nick of the time. Seriously, so, <laughs> I think Mumbai Mumbai is famous for that. <laughs> True, but then uh, it's also famous for chefs like you. Uh, I'm I, I can say I'm very lucky that you know uh, I am in Mumbai, and what Mumbai has given us, you know, it's it's because you know everything is so easily accessible in M Mumbai. So I feel at times blessed that, okay, traffic part is okay, but you know, rest, everything is very unhappy about. And I'm very proud uh, of being a you know, Mumbai car. And we are proud to have a Mumbai car on the show who is so skilled and talented at the same time, very creative. 
And if at all anyone wants to connect with you, can you share your social media link right now? Oh, yes, definitely. So on Instagram, you can find me. Uh, my it's my name Zuleika Badar. Okay. And you can find me on Facebook also with the same name Zuleika Badar. And if you want to connect with me and you want to learn more about the business, definitely I'm here to help. You can get in touch with me anytime. Any email ID if you would like to share? Okay, so uh, my email ID is Zuleika Badar at gmail dot com. So it's spelled as Z U L E K H A B A D A R. at the rate gmail.com gmail.com yes okay thanks a lot because i'm sure you will be getting more inquiries as to how you have come up with this eggless you know variety and i'll be really happy to help all of them i'm sure and anything before we leave uh, you would like to say to our listeners uh okay so you know this uh, life you know is god has given you one life so don't think you know just do what you want to do because i can tell you with my experience you know that i have never planned my life and i just went with the flow and just be true to your work work really hard don't hurt anybody when you're growing you know in this industry or any industry so you know luck and uh, you know prosperity comes along so this is i think what I, this is my ex- personal experience i feel so if people can follow these i'm sure they are going to reach places and become successful in life you've said a very beautiful point that as one is growing so not to hurt each other in the process that's a very valuable point that you have shared because sometimes yeah. it seems that when success comes then yes. people starts belittling others completely and thank you for sharing such a beautiful point <laughs> thank you so much thanks a lot for your time mrs zuleikha badar and it was really inspirational to listen to you to hear your story and your journey we wish you all the best and keep serving us with more yummy brownies <laughs> <laughs> and thank you so much for having me it was a pleasure being you know you all and sharing my experience with everybody i mm-hmm. hope i uh, you know this interview helps a lot of people to find their niche i'm sure it will because when they listen to people and their journey it gives them little confidence and again as you had said never to give up and take every day as it comes and not to plan too much but go with the flow yes that is god the, has plans for you absolutely so thanks a lot once again take care and be safe bye bye thank you bye this is mrs zuleikha badar a budding chef from mumbai she is self made entrepreneur who has mastered the skill in eggless desserts she has been a creative person since her college days and uses her skills to create different recipes with authenticity keeping intact the traditional essence and flavor she shared that courage support hard work and honesty are the key pillars in her life she also said that one should not get scared of failures and accept the fact that these failures are the only stepping stones for future success so one should never give up her vision is to encourage homemakers to identify and respect their talent besides this she is keen to create exclusive desserts infusing the traditional recipes with modern tastes if you are interested in learning how to bake some exclusive desserts then do connect with her on this sweet note i end the episode thanks a lot 
and hope to see you in my next episode with another guest and their story. Till then, take care and be safe. Bye.